Every year, Vegas is home to the largest consumer tech show on the planet. Imagine, just over four days, 4,400 exhibiting companies and 175,000 professionals have hit the show floor this year. The Consumer Electronics Show features the latest transformative technologies 5G, artificial intelligence, vehicle technology, digital health and more. As tech innovations around electric and autonomous vehicles are shaping the future of mobility, CES has emerged as a destination of choice for all the players involved in the reinvention of mobility. From augmented driving experience to prototyping a city of the future, we went on the ground to have our finger on the pulse of the mobility sector and scope out the trends that you are likely to come across in a not-so-distant future. What's huge this year is that car makers have gone way beyond concept cars and demonstrated how the vehicles of tomorrow will integrate into the ecosystem of connected cities. Hyundai made a big splash with three mobility solutions working together to free future cities and people from constraints of time and space. Toyota went even further by unveiling plans for a 2,000 people city of the future. Toyota recently announced at the CES uh, that you're building a whole prototype of a city of the future called the Woven City. So what's behind it? Yes, yeah, so the Woven City is so exciting because it will be an ecosystem that is completely created by Toyota and it's going to be a whole new city that is rooted in sustainability and powered by zero emission hydrogen fuel cells and solar panels. It's also going to have many vehicles that are autonomous and zero emissions like the e-Palette which is behind us and we also have the LQ that we are showcasing here at Toyota that is a zero emission vehicle vehicle with artificial intelligence that is also battery electric and many people are going to live in this city and they're going to experience what it would be like to live in a city that has mobility solutions, it is safer, it is more sustainable and it's innovative. So it's very exciting for Toyota to showcase so, here in Real CES. city with real people. Yes, real people are going to live there and we'll also have mobility solutions like wheelchairs and scooters and we'll also have home robots. And these robots are partner robots that would help you with daily tasks and are also meant to assist the elderly and the disabled. So it's allowing everyone to have more mobility because Toyota is transferring from not just being a car company, but being a mobility company. Fantastic, thank you. Yes, thank you. Electric vehicles were everywhere this year at CES, but the big surprise is unquestionably Sony. The Japanese company shocked everyone when it rolled out a working electric concept car called Sony Vision S. Built to showcase and test its new connected car platform, Vision S, the electric car, is a prototype and won't be for sale anytime soon. Interestingly, the big players are not the only innovators at CES. Startups are also disrupting the electronic vehicle industry through brilliant innovations. Canoe is one of them. This Los Angeles-based startup is revolutionizing car ownership. Their electric vehicles? They will be subscription only. Hi, Veronica. Hi. I heard that Canoe is the Netflix of the electronic vehicle market. Can you tell me more? Yeah, absolutely. You heard correctly. So we'll be offering this vehicle 100% by subscription only starting in 2021. So it'll be no long-term commitment, month to month. So if you are done with it at the end of the month, you turn it back in. There's no fee. Um, the way that we're working with it is to do it all through an app on your phone. So it'll include things like maintenance, registration, insurance, charging. We're still ironing out the details. But as I said, we'll be launching in Los Angeles starting in 2021. Looking forward, fantastic. Yeah, thank you, yeah. Great news for electric vehicle owners. Spark Charge, another startup, has developed a product capable of ultra-fast charging to help fill the gaps left by the lack of charging infrastructure. 
Hi, Joshua. How's it going? Great. What do we have here? So this is a portable charging station that allows electric vehicle owners to have their car charged anytime and anywhere they want. The unit is ultra fast, charging at a rate of one mile every 60 seconds, and it's completely modular, meaning you can add as much range as you need to it. Uh, what really makes the unit unique is that essentially electric vehicle owners can have this delivered to them anytime and anywhere they need it. So you can be sitting on the couch and say, hey, I want an additional 50 to 100 miles of range. And with a push of a button, it gets delivered to you. CS is also a great opportunity to get a sense of where the driving experience is heading. With cars fully equipped with sensors and systems relying on AI, a new avenue is open to reinvent how we get from point A to point B. Honda, for instance, believes that customers will enjoy mobility in new ways if they are freed from the responsibility of driving. How is Honda augmenting the driving experience? So the Honda augmented driving concept addresses the future experience of drivers as they move from manual to autonomous. In the autonomous future, drivers will be freed from the responsibility of driving, but at the same time, they still may want to feel the thrill of being behind the wheel. So the augmented driving system concept yeah. offers our customers the feeling of driving, moving from autonomous to semi-autonomous mode using our reinvented steering wheel. So this steering wheel does uh, a lot of different things that today's steering wheel does not do. First of all, to turn the vehicle on, you tap the top of the steering wheel twice. To accelerate, you push in on the steering wheel, and to slow down, you pull back on the steering wheel. And if you don't want to drive, you don't touch the steering wheel. Really what we're trying to show here is that in the autonomous future, there will be different options, and we should have a discussion about that as a society, about what people might want to do with their time in the car, whether that's the feel of driving, uh, working, uh, being entertained, whatever you want to do. So the interaction, so yeah. this is what you're showing here. Yeah. Thank you, Marcus. Of course. We've seen lots of outstanding innovations at CES this year. I'm here with Paul Silva from Dassault System to make sense of it all. Hi, Paul. Hello. So what needs to be done now to see those concepts on the market? Well, there's so many mobility advancements to explore, like um, smart city development, electric drive, and autonomous systems. Our customers and prospects are challenged with exactly where to start and what options to best explore. Luckily, Dassault Systems, the 3D Experience platform, and our partners can advise on best opportunities, explore the options, and then accelerate progress, like we have for California innovator Canoe, who accelerated their development time from four years down to just 22 months. Amazing. Thank you, Paul. Thank you. A future where autonomous and electric vehicles are roaming city streets may be closer than you think. Quickly moving past test and pilot phases, autonomous and electric vehicles are now hitting the road, bringing the promise of increased safety, reduced emissions, and the potential to fully integrate with other city systems. Curious to get a glimpse of the future? You'll have to wait till next year to discover Toyota's prototype city of the future in Japan. A real city with real people living there full-time with autonomous vehicles, innovative street design, smart home technology, robotics and new mobility products. Unlike objects in the rearview mirror that may appear closer than they are, the future of mobility has never been so close.